Hey, welcome back to my channel. Got a quick hit video here of how do I measure the voltage of my LiPo? I have a lot of people asking, how do I measure that voltage? And so this is a 4S LiPo and this is a battery checker, okay? And you can see all the print on that. And on the back, it just simply says, made in China. But there are a lot of ripoff versions of this. I think you want to get one uh, that that has the exact same markings on it and I was at the uh, ready-made RC FPV fest and one of the guys racing there turned me on to this one and said make sure you get the exact same one because there's a lot of ripoff versions of this and it's garbage inside and this one here has been really accurate and so far I've been pretty happy with it so the other thing we can do is we can use a multimeter and I'll show you how to do both and, and what they what they mean. All right, so we have our lipo pack and this lipo pack is a couple years old and it is on storage voltage so this weekend i i ripped some packs with a buddy and i put it in the storage charge and it's in my lipo storage uh, fire container okay so i pull this out i'm just going to put this on here so you can see how that goes with the the pins you're actually running your ground all the way to the top and you can see your hot is all the way down towards the bottom plug that in it gives you your full your full voltage which is 15.28 if you hit the center button here it'll show you each cell okay you see it's on lipo and you can change modes and it'll switch from lipo to lie on and all these different stuff here but this is a lipo so 3.819 3.82 3.81 3.82 okay so they're all pretty relative and I like to storage charge my packs between 380 and 385 somewhere in there is, is where I like to see them okay so that's a good storage voltage so that's a quick easy way to do it we can also check the full voltage and then we can also check the individual voltages to make sure that our little meter is doing what it should and I know this meter is calibrated well I have I have a, a handful of other other meters. I've got this one. I've got this one. I got another one. So they all check the same. So I know they're all calibrated well. Let's make sure this is working. Let's check this with the multimeter. Okay. Let me zoom here real quick so we can see what we're doing. All right. So we have voltage right here. See the flat line right there? That's DC. That's AC. If you want to check the voltage in your wall outlet, you use that one. We're using this one and on the screen it says DC voltage and then auto so it's going to auto detect what the what the amount is this is a nice meter because you don't have to set between 6 and 10 and 20 and 50 and all that so auto gonna detect DC voltage okay zoom back out here a little bit all right so we have our multimeter turned on let me see if I could turn that just right so you can see the screen. And then we're just going to take our two leads here and we're going to put them inside the barrel um, of the of the lipo. So we have our hot in in the in the uh, positive barrel and then in the negative barrel, fifteen point three two. So we know that 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 is pretty accurate, fifteen point three two. And we plug in here 15.32, 15.28. I mean, we're talking fractions of, of difference. So this this little quick checker, I use the I use this a lot. So to make sure it's pretty accurate is a, is is a good thing. Now, if we turn our pack over, each one of these leads, the farthest one is the ground, the closest one to the red. So they're all hot. Okay, so what you can do is, you know what, let me, let me zoom in just a little bit more so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our, put our lead here, okay, for our ground. 
You can put it here or you can stick it in the barrel on the ground. And then you're going to come in and you're going to tap into each one of these. Okay, this one here is, is the ground. See, there's zero, zero voltage. That means there's no voltage. We, we're touching two grounds together, so that's not going to do anything, okay? So then you go over to the next one, and that's cell one. Cell one is 3.83. .3. We go over to the next one. We got cell two cells added together equals 7.66. And then we go to the next one, because these are in series circuit, so it's 11.49. And then we go to the final, fourth cell, and it's 15.32 volts. And that's how we check each cell to make sure it's healthy. And as you add those up, you can you know, do the math and, and divide them, make sure. Um, if you want to check each individual cell, you can go in between here, and that's 3.82. Come in here, 3.83, come in here, make sure you don't touch those leads together, 3.83, all right, so you can check individual cells. Now, one thing that I found is, is after you're messing around after a year or two of these, these wires in here, because silicone wire, everyone loves silicone wire, right, but honestly, it breaks easier. Because the wire is able to wiggle and move more, you break one of these off in here. That's why I say if you ever parallel charge, you must you must check each cell before you plug it in. One, two, three, four. Because if you go through here and you go three eight one and nothing, and three eight one and three eight three, and you parallel charge that, you're probably going to have a fire. So make sure you check all four cells. If you can't do it with one of these checkers, which I totally recommend getting one of these because it's so quick, that's how you do a multimeter check on your on your LiPo. And you can do that to, to any LiPo, 1S, 2S, 3S, 6S, whatever. Uh, if you have any questions about this, you know, let me know. Um, uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked this video, if it helped you out, and you know, subscribe. If, man, if you hated it, you give me a thumbs down. It all works. Enjoy the breeze.